President Biden's decision to withdraw all remaining U.S. troops from Afghanistan by September 11th is a huge propaganda victory for the Taliban and Al-Qaeda. House Republican Conference Chairwoman Liz Cheney said Wednesday, any withdrawal of forces based on a political timeline, any withdrawal of forces that is not based on conditions on the ground puts American security at risk, Cheney told reporters after a closed-door meeting of House Republicans. Now, I'm not sure why the White House has selected September 11th, but I can tell you that this that, that is a huge victory, a huge propaganda victory for the Taliban, for Al-Qaeda, she added. The notion that on the day that they attacked us, we are going to mark the anniversary by withdrawing our forces, Biden is expected, where is it? Uh, to make a formal announcement later Wednesday that he will, okay, our, yeah, that already happened. It is time for American, yeah, okay, more stuff that he wrote. So, uh, where's the thing that she was writing? There's something else here. Oh, we know that this kind of pullback is reckless. It's dangerous. It puts American security at risk. It'll provide an opportunity for terrorists to be able to establish safe havens again, she said. Uh, let me respond to her stuff in pieces. Or just like the little nuggets of it that are here. Because it, it always is aggravating. And, and then it's not surprising. Like I said, we can be in the Afghanistan war for 40 years. And you'll still have Liz saying that if we withdraw, our things bad things will happen to Americans. Yeah. As if 100,000 people dying wasn't enough bad things. There's, there's going to be something even worse if we just pull out of there. Any withdrawal of forces based on political timeline. Uh, and it's like, what does that even mean? You know, Trump had a deadline last year when he established a deal with the Taliban. And I didn't see her. Well, you know, she is, I'll admit, consistently someone who opposes ending wars. But what is a political timeline? Like, what's the difference between that and a regular timeline to get out of a war? Uh I'm not sure why the White House has so... So she's saying that supposedly marking it on the election, on the election day, on, on the September 11th attack day is going to be a, a propaganda victory. And, and you see how it's more nebulous terms. Like, let's say there are Taliban members who go, oh, yeah, we this is a great thing for us because they're leaving on the anniversary when we attacked them 20 years ago. Who cares? We're leaving. They can't, like, they're not over here. They can't kill us anymore. We're gone. Like, who who is this propaganda? How is giving them this propaganda victory supposedly going to hurt Americans? More so than the conflict that has split, spilled the blood of thousands of people. This kind of pullback is reckless. And I, like I said, I wish one of these damn reporters would sit her down and ask, when do you think it is time for Americans to leave? If you believe it's so reckless and dangerous to get out of here after 20 years, what is the proper amount of time we should stay until 2030 or 2050? Like, they never tell you. So this is irritating, but, you know, it's the typical Liz thing. If, you, if you've heard Liz oppose getting out of one war, you've heard her say it on every one of them.